Lord Shiva is known as the destroyer within the Trimurti, the Hindu trinity which also includes Lord Brahma and Lord Vishnu. A Jyotirlinga or Jyotirlingam is the devotional representation of the Hindu god Shiva. It is a Sanskrit word which means radiance. The Shiv Purana mentions as many as 64 Jyotirlingas. Out of these, 12 are called Maha Jyotirlingam or the Great Jyotirlingas. There is a beautiful legend that proves Shiva's infinite nature and it also narrates the story of how Jyotirlingas came into being. Once Lord Brahma and Vishnu got into an argument to prove each other's supremacy. This didn't go well with Shiva who took the form of a beam of light. He threw a challenge to the duo stating that whoever finds the source or the end of the luminous pole would be declared superior. To take part in the contest of one-upmanship, Vishnu took the form of a wild boar and plunged downwards while Brahma flew upwards after transforming into a swan. The duo spent days but failed to find the source or the end. In the end, Brahma lied to Lord Shiva stating that he found the point of origin while Vishnu conceded defeat. To punish Brahma for being dishonest, Lord Shiva cursed him stating that he wouldn't be fortunate enough to be worshipped. Probably this is the reason why there are fewer temples dedicated to Lord Brahma than those devoted to Vishnu or Shiva. However, according to another version of the legend, after searching for days, both Brahma and Vishnu conceded defeat after learning about Shiva's infinite form. Shiva first took the Linga form on the 14th day in the month of Falguna or Magha in the Hindu calendar. Hence, this day is also known as Mahashivratri. Now, let us briefly go through the 12 Jyoti Lingas and their origin. Number 1. Somnath it is traditionally considered to be the first pilgrimage site and the oldest among all Jyotirlingas in the country. This temple is said to have been destroyed 16 times and rebuilt as well. Somnath is located in Saurashtra, Gujarat. Number 2. Malikarjuna This is also called as Sri Saila and is located on the mountain in Karnul district of Rayalaseema, Andhra Pradesh. This temple is rich in architecture and consists of various sculptures. Number 3. Mahakaleshwar This lingam is believed to be Swayambhu or self-manifested out of the 12 Maha Jyotirlingas. It is also the only one facing the south. Mahakaleshwar is located in the ancient city of Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh. Number 4. Omkareshwar It is situated in Madhya Pradesh as well on an island called Mandhata located at the meeting points of the rivers Narmada and Kaveri. Number 5. Kedarnath Kedarnath is known to be the closest Jyotirlinga to Shiva's actual home in Kailash mountain in the state of Uttarakhand. This temple also forms a part of the famous Chardham Yatra of the Hindus. The location is accessible only one time in every six months. Number 6. Bhima Shankar It is situated in Khet Taluk near Pune, Maharashtra. Bhima Shankar is also the source of river Bhima that merges with river Krishna. The temple dates back to the 13th century. Number 7. Vishwanath This Jyotirlinga is situated in Kashi, Uttar Pradesh. It is said to be the home to Vishwanath Jyotirlinga Shrine. Kashi or Vishwanath is considered as the second home of Lord Shiva and Parvati. It is situated on the western banks of the holy river Ganges. Number 8. Trambakeshwar this Jyotirlinga is situated on the banks of the river Godavari near Nashik in the state of Maharashtra. The legend says that this temple marks the origin of the river Godavari. This place is also believed to be the birthplace of Lord Ganesha. Number 9. Nageshwara This temple is situated near Jamnagar, Gujarat. The Nageshwar temple has great significance as it is commonly believed that Lord Krishna pleased Lord Shiva by performing Rudrabhishekam here. Number 10. Vedyanath It is considered to be one of the most sacred abodes of Lord Shiva. It is located in Diyoghar in the state of Jharkhand. As per the Hindu legends, Ravana worshipped Lord Shiva here to gain the boon of having 10 heads. Number 11. Rameshwaram It is located in Tamil Nadu and is the southernmost Jyotirlinga in India. According to Ramayana, Lord Ram prayed to Lord Shiva here to absolve any sins that he might have committed during his war against the demon king Ravana in Sri Lanka. Number 12. Grishneshwar 
Grishneshwar Jyotirlinga is a very important place of worship as it is considered as the last or the 12th Jyotirlinga. It is located in Ellora in the state of Maharashtra. The temple was destroyed by the rulers of Delhi Sultanate in the 13th century and rebuilt by Queen Ahilyabai Holkar of Indore in the 18th century. This is all for today's video. From the next video, we will have a detailed look at each of the 12 Jyotirlingas. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.